Folks who purchase their new AC system at the beginning of the year should be singing their praises. The industry continues to see rising cost of materials combined with the shortage of workers. A colleague of mine said that when something like COVID interrupts any part of the supply chain system, including how those parts get shipped from there to here, considering the low number of employees working in those factories, the only thing to expect is chaos. This scenario is creating an almost panic for our industry to perform. Halfway through the summer of 2021, things haven't gotten any better. We continue to be frustrated. Selling equipment is hard enough, but to get the okay from the customer and potentially not have their equipment is super challenging. It's the toughest thing that I've actually had to deal with since becoming a contractor in 2015. What happens is when we order the equipment online in the past, we could see the inventory levels of our distributor. We would look at a particular furnace that matches up with a condenser and evaporator coil and see that they had 20 of those furnaces. Now, when we win a job, we have to submit the order and wait for the distributor to get back to us and let us know if they have that equipment to fill the order. If they don't, we have to call the customer back and let them know. On a few occasions this year, we've even had to offer the customer an entirely different brand than Train, which has always been our equipment of choice. This has worked out for those customers and we appreciate them being flexible enough to understand. When you need AC, you need AC. Every HVAC contractor in the United States is dealing with this equipment situation. Manufacturers say that they can't get equipment out fast enough for the rising demand of new equipment. This has created the highest rate of price increases that we've seen in a very long time. Each year, we typically see a 4 to 6% increase in the cost of equipment. This year, we've already seen 21% increase in that same equipment. This has resulted in your basic $10,000 HVAC system increasing by $2,000 in just one year. Higher end equipment has grown exponentially. With a few to several more months of rapid inflation in the world's economy, we continue to brace for whatever price increases we might see. And those price increases ultimately get passed along to our customers. So like we said at this time last year, as we're getting close to the end of the hottest time of the year, local suppliers should have an easier time restocking their shelves as demand goes down. Winter months are pretty mild around the Sacramento Valley, so we shouldn't get as high of intensity of equipment changeouts experienced in other areas of the world with longer, colder seasons. Let's keep our fingers crossed that America gets back to normal soon. People need heating and air conditioning. It's not a luxury for some people. With continued demand and lower inventory of equipment and the parts that make up the equipment, inflation continues, stressing this contractor out. Stay safe and follow CDC guidelines so that we can get through this sooner than later. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.